and Stamford Bridge is the venue on a very pleasant day for football here in West London. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Chelsea taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Poor pass. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold plays with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Mohamed Salah plays with Diogo Jota in the wide positions. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Well, it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who's going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Oh, what a Stoke. chance this is, Derek. And a really good diving stop. Playing it short. Sterling crossing. A really meat and drink to the keeper under the circumstances. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And a no-nonsense clearance. And plenty of space for this Chelsea attack. Sterling ready. Thumped clear. Conte, on to Sterling, he must finish, oh he couldn't outwit the keeper. Elects to go short, in by Sterling, not really the ideal clearance. James, here's Havertz, he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Gakpo and they need to get tighter here and it's Salah with the cross well he took care of it defensively that's a very fine piece of tackling and after the cross a tremendous block Well, there you have it. In terms of possession, there's not much in it. It really has been a hard-fought battle so far. One of these teams needs to start taking a risk or two. And the keeper taking care of the situation. Jones. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Oh, great vision. Just can't get it past him. Given away by Chelsea. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Raheem Sterling, whose timing is generally...